From time to time, your sanitary valve requires routine maintenance to ensure peak operating efficiency. This video will teach you the standard service procedures of the SPX APV Delta SWCIP4 Double Seal Mix Proof Valve, specially designed for CIP applications. Servicing the SWCIP4 valve will require the tools displayed here. It is important to note the use of APV food grade grease in the maintenance procedure to ensure proper operation of the valve and its internal components. Use of other brands or types of grease may cause damage to internal components resulting in a malfunctioning valve. Please refer to the operation manual for additional details on where and how to apply grease throughout the maintenance process. The correct seat seal assembly tool is also required and selection is based on the size of the valve you are servicing. This ensures a proper fitting assembly which maintains the hygienic features of the valve and adds to the integrity of your overall process. Before disassembling the valve, please confirm the process line is empty and pressure has been released from the system. The SWCIP4 valve is normally closed. The valve must be activated to bring the shaft to the open position which compresses the internal spring before opening the valve and removing the valve insert. Loosen the wing nut and remove the clamp. Deactivate the solenoid valve to allow the shaft to move into a closed position. Disconnect the air hoses and lift the valve insert from the valve body. Next, loosen and remove the coupling nut which holds the actuator and the valve shaft together. This requires a 17 mm and a 19 mm wrench. Hold the centering ring in place while loosening and removing the upper nut. Remove the centering ring located underneath the coupling nut. The shaft can now be removed from the valve unit. Using a pick, remove the body seal, shaft seal, as well as the split guide bushing. This section will demonstrate the seat seal replacement procedure. To protect the valve shaft from damage, aluminum or copper brackets should be placed over the jaws of the vise. Once the brackets are in place, secure the valve shaft in a vise as shown. Carefully remove the two seat seals using a pick. After removing the seals, remove the valve shaft from the vise. To install the new seat seal correctly, the seat seal assembly tool must be used to ensure a proper fit. A correct fit will avoid causing adverse valve performance or potential product contamination issues when placed back into service. Disassemble the seat seal assembly tool and set the metal ring aside and select the shim which is included with a replacement seal kit. Place the valve shaft in the holder. Place the locking screw over the shaft and tighten so that the shaft cannot rattle. Secure the entire unit in the vise. Apply a thin layer of APV food grade grease to the seals. A packet of the recommended grease is supplied with the seal kit. Next, place the shim with the new seat seal inside the assembly tool as well as the PTFE thrust ring. Tighten the C-nut while the seat seal assembly tool is locked in the vise. Finally, use a C-spanner or a strap wrench to tighten the screw firmly. Loosen the C-nut. Remove the PTFE ring and shim. Release the vise and remove the seat seal assembly tool. Undo the locking screw and remove the valve shaft. Inspect the seat seal for an even fit. Secure the valve shaft in the vise, once again ensuring the jaws are covered with aluminum or copper to protect the valve shaft from damage. The next step will demonstrate assembly of the lower seat seal. Apply a thin layer of grease to the seat seal. Make sure the radial seat seal is installed in the correct orientation. Place the seal over the groove as shown and ensure it does not twist. Use a flat screwdriver with smooth round corners for assembly of the new radial seat seal. With the tool, 
Press the seat seal down and into the groove with your thumb. Press the seat seal in small alternating increments as shown. Remove the shaft from the vise and check the seals for an even fit. The next step will demonstrate installation of the product wetted parts. Install the split bushing by compressing at the split until the bushing falls into the machine groove. Apply a thin layer of grease on the body seal and install assuring an even installation in the provided groove without any twists or high spots. Install the new shaft seal ensuring it's installed in the correct orientation. The next sequence will show you how to change the seals of the leakage discharge valve. Remove the screws and the bracket holding the leakage discharge valve in place. Next, remove the leakage discharge valve and unscrew the top cover. Extract the piston from the housing and remove the O-rings with a pick. Next, remove the gasket and O-rings and discard. Apply a thin layer of grease on the new O-rings and gasket and install. Assemble the leakage discharge valve to the valve body. Tighten the screws firmly. The next step will demonstrate reassembly of the valve. Place the plastic tube, which also comes standard with the APV replacement seal kit, over the thread at the top of the guide rod to prevent potential damage of the shaft seal inside the yoke when inserting it through the yoke. Push the valve shaft through the shaft seal. Position the valve upright and install the centering ring. Next, install the self-locking coupling nut and tighten using a 19mm wrench. Use a 17 mm wrench on the centering ring to block it in place. The required torque is 40 newton meters. Place the valve insert back into the valve housing and connect the air hoses to the actuator. Activate the solenoid valve to bring the valve shaft in the open position. Install and tighten clamp wing nut finger tight but firm to ensure proper seating. Following these procedures will help you properly maintain your SPX APV SWCIP4 valves to maximize operating life and maintain process integrity. To order replacement seal kits or tools, contact your authorized SPX or APV sales representative or visit www.apv.com for more information.